Hello and welcome to another Warframe video. As promised to my subscribers, here's my Gara build video. I will be sharing to you guys all the things I've learned while playing Gara and, I'll be giving you some advice on how to build her, and how to use her effectively in a mission. So, let's jump into the guide. Shall we? Before we can create any build for Gara, let's first discuss about her abilities. Her first ability is called Shattered Lash. This is basically Gara's longsword that deals puncture damage and knockback enemies within 0.75 meters radius from the blade. While holding the ability key will cause her to cast a sweeping animation instead, from left to right in a 180 degree arc in front of her, which deals slash damage and bashing enemies away in a ragdoll state in the direction of the sweep. This ability is affected by range and strength mods. Also, it's affected by your melee mods. Try to mod it with base damage, like steel charge, pressure point, to deal more damage. In addition, adding blast damage to your weapon will enhance the knockback effect of this ability, that's why you see those enemies flying further earlier. The best part is, this skill is affected by melee riven mod. So, try to mod your melee with the aforementioned damage for best results. However, Shattered Lash is not affected by melee mods like crits, status chance, range mods, faction specific mods, weapon augments or class modifying mods. Also, the sweep animation is locked and cannot be aimed upward or downward. However, because the sweep is in a wave-like pattern, it can hit enemies on a lower or higher terrain elevation than Gara depending on the troughs and crests of the wave. Now let's talk about her second ability. It's called Splinter Storm and it's basically Gara's survivability skill as it gives her 90% damage reduction. That damage reduction is applied on your overshield, shield and health. Also, it can be cast on allies and other targets like excavators, idolon lures, companions, warframes and many more. This ability also deals damage and will constantly push away enemies. Now, I know many of you like this shield because of its damage reduction but, the true power of this ability lies within its ability to deal insane damage to enemies. I will talk about that later when we discuss about Gara's ability synergies. For now, let's see her third ability. Her third is called Spectro Rage. Many players say that this is the worthless skill of Gara, but, I beg to differ. It's a pretty decent skill when you mod it with range. When you do, you will get up to 30 mirrors, if you decided to get max range, which will make this skill a good CC ability. The CC however is not that good when it comes to high level enemies like a 100 heavy gunner or bombard, as they'll just melt the mirrors away in seconds but, average enemies, and as well as melee enemies look like fools when you are cast this ability. I don't know how many enemies can you CC with Spectro Rage but, I'm guessing it's linear with how many mirrors you have. So, if you have 30 mirrors, then you can CC 30 enemies I guess. Spectro Rage also deals damage to enemies every time a mirror breaks but it's not that good in my opinion even at max power strength. It's really good at crowd control, but pretty bad when you want to deal damage. Lastly, there's a pretty good mechanic from this ability that affects how much damage your Splinter Storm deals. Once a mirror breaks and you're near it, with Splinter Storm active, those shards will add bonus damage to your second ability. I will discuss this further in the ability synergy but from now, let's proceed to Gara's final, and most amazing ability, the Mass Vitrify. This ability is extremely amazing. While casting, Gara becomes immobile, invulnerable to damage, and immune to status effects as she unleashes a radial ring of molten glass that expands outward and downward. Enemies that contact the molten glass are crystallized over 3 seconds, slowing in movement and attack speed until completely solidified. 
But that's not all, crystallized enemies receive more damage from weapons and abilities. If you cast the skill while you're on the ground, it will expand normally. On the other hand, casting it while you're in the air will give it insane height, making it a big brick wall wherein enemies can't go out when they are inside the radius, and they can't go in when they are outside. And lastly, it has a hidden synergy with your second ability which we will discuss next. Okay, now let's talk about her ability synergies. Gara's fourth ability and second ability synergies well with each other. Cast Splinter Storm and after that cast Mass Vitrify. Then, break Mass Vitrify but remember to break it outside otherwise this trick will not work. Once you have done it correctly, that broken glasses from your Mass Vitrify will add damage to your Splinter Storm. The best part is, it can be stack indefinitely. It's still unknown however if this is an actual ability mechanic or just a bug, but, I've tested this trick a couple of times. I tested it on high level enemies with high armors and, what I found out is that you need to stack or do this process for 400 plus times before you can get 20k damage to level 105 corrupted heavy gunners and corrupted bombards. It's not really game breaking that it needs to be fixed. As we all know, there are a couple of damage scaling abilities in Warframe. There's Hydroid's Puddle and Octavia's Mallet as examples. And, I really think that this mechanic should stay as it is. If DE decides to remove this, then Gara will be completely for defensive purposes only. Also, the moment Gara cast her fourth ability, her Splinter Storm's duration refreshes. Even her 3 has a pretty decent synergy with her other abilities. Its damage is basically nothing past star chart level enemies, but it's good for other things. Spectro Rage will draw enemies into a space, and Mass Vitrify will keep enemies out of a space. This combination CC is rarely seen in Warframes. Her third ability's zoning is quite useful for area damage, explosives, her first ability sweep, or the explosion from her fourth. I really like to set up Spectro Rage just outside a Mass Vitrify, then slide out of Mass Vitrify beside the mirrors and do a sweeping Shattered Lash. I get to hit a very dense cluster of enemies with Lash, then the MV explosion hits them, then I get the damage boost on my active Splinter Storm. Also, though this is a little more niche, any active Splinter Storms inside of Spectro Rage while a mirror breaks gets damage, 400 at base, added to them. This gives Gara further benefit to fighting from inside her 3 while 2 is active, enemies will ignore you as your 2 damages, then your 2 increases in damage, and also good for casting an extra splinter storm on an enemy within the mirrors. The synergies are on point with this one and without a doubt, Gara is really fun to play when you know how to use her. Now, let's talk about builds. The first one is pretty obvious. This build is for players who just started playing Warframe. If you can't afford to buy those legendary and rare mods yet, then you can mod your Gara like this if you want. Let's proceed to the build I am using right now. In my opinion, this is a pretty solid build for Gara. It maxes her duration so that Mass Vitrify, Specto Rage and Splinter Storm will be more reliable to use. I added some power strength also to get that 90% buff reduction from her second ability, and as well get the additional damage for her 1 and 2. Prime Flow is a must here as Gara in my opinion even with high duration, really needs a high energy pool as she always cast all her abilities. In terms of range, I just cap it at 169% to get 20 mirrors for Spectro Rage, and as well as give decent range for all her abilities. Lastly, the aura slot is the default depolarity so I just mod it with rejuvenation, and, vitality plus splinter storm will make her a bit tanky. All in all, this is the build I run in every mission. 
think of it as an all-rounder build that you can use in survivals, extractions, interceptions and all other mission that you could think of. I also have a fun build for Gara, and this maxes her range. With this build, you can have 30 mirrors for Spectra Rage. It's really fun to see enemies ignoring you while you're at the center of Spectra Rage. Since range affects all her abilities, her 1, 2 and 4 will benefit from this too, making it really fun to use. However, I advise that you don't use this build on high level missions, especially when you're going on a long Fisher survival runs. As we all know, Fisher missions has nullifiers and all Warframes hate nullifiers, because of the fact that they can nullify all their skills. If you go full range, then you'll just waste all your energy recasting your abilities. I suggest that you stick with my second build or, create your own that suits your playing style. I really advise not to follow my build blindly, just make it as a reference on how you could create your own build. Overall, Gara is a pretty solid Warframe. In fact, I consider her as one of my top tier frames in the game. When it comes to crowd control, you can gather enemies using Spectro Rage and then, you can crystallize them using Mass Vitrify. If that's not enough, then you can hold your first ability key to ragdoll the enemies far far away from your position. On the other hand, Gara is good in terms of DPS as the more glass she breaks from her 4, the more damage her to gets. Well, it's not great as are their Warframe as it will take a while before you see huge damage but, the scaling is pretty solid. But my favorite part of using Gara is, she's not really boring as you need to be quick on your feet, or probably with your hands in this matter, to cast her abilities for both controlling and dishing out damage. So far, I can say that this Warframe belongs to the like of Nidus and Harrow wherein their abilities synergies really well with each other. Now there's one thing I would like you guys to try, and that is whether or not the damage of Splinter Storm also scales when it's cast on allies. Sorry, I don't have friends that play Warframe in my area. I'm just a lone tenor here. But anyway, if it does scale, then let me know at the comment section. Thank you guys for watching, especially to my 200 subscribers who are patiently waiting for my videos. I'm really happy and determined to make more informative videos because of your generous support. For those first timers here, please do subscribe on my channel if you like this guide and want to see more Warframe videos. Just hit subscribe and don't forget to turn on that bell button to get notifications every time I upload a video. Again, thank you guys and see you on my next video.